Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Manchester United are on the verge of making a final push to sign Ruben Neves. Eric Ten Hag tells Manchester United to beat Barcelona and Arsenal to Ruben Neves. Man United are ready to make a £50 million bid for Ruben Neves. Neves is a midfielder. He's at Wolves. He's been at Wolves for around five years. He's got a contract with Wolves until 2024. He's played over 200 games for Wolves in all competitions. Wolves got him from Porto. They paid around 15.8 million. Uh, let me put into the equation that Wolves lost Matt Doherty. And they also lost Diego Jota. Now, I want to give you some news on Frankie De Jong. So, according to Oriol Dominic, Manchester United agree a fee with Barcelona for Frankie De Jong. Frankie De Jong is at Barcelona. He's been at Barcelona since 2019. He's got a contract with Barcelona until 2026. Barcelona got him from Ajax. They paid around £65 million. Eric Ten Hag has already spoke with Frankie De Jong's agent. At one point, it mentioned that Frankie De Jong wanted to move to Man City, even though he'd been offered six million less. There's a lot of players that Manchester United are linked with. You know, there's a lot of rumours coming out about Nigolo Kante. It said Man United are considering making a bid for him. Eric Ten Hag's also interested in Anthony. He's been interested in Lissandro Martinez. We've been heavily linked with Uran Timber. Uh, we've been heavily linked with Declan Rice from West Ham. We've been tentatively linked with Usman Dembele. So there you go. Uh, Eric Ten Hag's transfer budget has already been revealed. Ten Hag is officially Manchester United's manager. Uh, not so long ago, Ten Hag had his first interview as the Manchester United manager. The Eric Ten Hag era has begun. Uh, Ten Hag attended Manchester United's final game against Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park. Ten Hag did sign a three-year contract with Man United with an option of a further year. He's Manchester United's fifth permanent manager since Sir Alex Ferguson. Uh, don't forget... Steve McLaren and Mitchell van der Gag joined Ten Hag at Manchester United. Uh, Ten Hag is going to get rid of a lot of players this summer. He said 10 players are set to leave Manchester United. But it's good that he's experiencing the Premier League now, Ten Hag. Hopefully at Man United he can replicate what he did 
at Ajax. You've got to admire the work he did at Ajax. At Ajax, he developed the young players well. He won Eredivisie titles. He won Dutch Cups. And revert back to 2019, he got Ajax to the Champions League semi-finals. He was that Ajax manager for around five years. Uh, Ralph Rangnick, he was Manchester United's interim manager for around four or five months. Revert back to earlier on this year, it got officially announced that Ralph Rangnick got appointed in as the new manager of Austria. Rangnick signed a two-year deal. But despite that, he said he would continue at Manchester United in a consultancy role until 2024. Ralph Rangnick did endure one transfer window as Man United's interim manager. Unfortunately, he didn't get backed in this year's January transfer window. Revert back to earlier on this year, Rangnick did make changes because he recommended Ewan Sharpin as an assistant coach and analyst. He also recommended Chris Armisen as an assistant coach and he recommended Sash Chalenzin as a sports psychologist. Before, uh, Ralph Rangnick was the head of sports and development at Locomotive Moscow. As things stand, Manchester United have not won a trophy for around five years. That's nowhere near good enough to our standards. Uh, Man United have only won four trophies in the last ten years. You know, we won three trophies under Jose Mourinho. That was the Europa League, the AFL Cup and the Community Shield. And we won the FA Cup under Louis van Gaal. The last time Man United won the Premier League was back in 2013. In the last 10 years or so, Man United have spent over £1 billion. Pounds. Uh, the four permanent managers Man United have sat since Ferguson. Uh, we sat David Moyes, we sat Louis van Gaal, we sat Jose Mourinho... And in November last year, Manchester United sat Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Uh, like I say, there's still rumours coming out about Old Trafford getting demolished. You know, it said Man United could, you know, upgrade the stadium. But Man United have played in the same stadium for 112 years. You know, Old Trafford... Is very old, but it's in a static stadium. It's the second biggest stadium in England. You know, it's got a capacity of around 76,000. Uh, like I say, I hate the way the football club has been run for a long time. The Glazers, we've got to get them out of the club because they've been one of the biggest issues at the club for a long time. You know, a lot of United fans have been protesting against the Glazers. And like I said... The protesting will persist until the Glazers are out of the club. You know, the Glazers have owned Manchester United for around 17 years. They bought the club for 500 million back in 2005. <laughs> Earlier on this year, it got officially announced that Matt Judge resigned. Matt Judge will not play a role in the summer transfer window. Matt Judge was at Manchester United for around eight years. Uh, the players who were going to leave Manchester United... Um, Dean Henderson, I think he's on his way out of the club. Um, I heard that Newcastle could be signing him. Dean Henderson is our second choice keeper, doesn't really get in goal. 
the season just gone, he only made three appearances. Uh, Tom Heaton, he also needs to leave. You know, Tom Heaton is our third choice goalkeeper. He's a backup Man United got Tom Heaton on a free transfer from Aston Villa. Alex Telles, I can see him leaving very soon. He's been poor for the last few months. Uh, Telles has been subjected to a lot of transfer speculation before. Uh, when we had Rangnick, Telles appeared to be our first choice left back. That's only because Luke Shaw had injuries and you know Luke Shaw I think is still injured at the moment. Uh, Phil Jones and Eric Bailly, they'll be leaving the club very soon. Uh, they already told their teammates that they intend on leaving the club. Jones and Bailly are backup centre-halves. Um, Harry Maguire, I can assure we need to get rid of him because Harry Maguire is not good enough to represent the club. Throughout the course of the season just gone, a lot of Man United fans were demanding for the captaincy to be taken off Maguire. You know, Maguire's not a leader. Uh, Maguire's had quite a lot of injuries since he came to United as well. He's been at United for around three years. Man United paid £80 million for Harry Maguire. He's the most expensive centre-half in the world at the moment. And he's the second most expensive signing at the club. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, um, I can see him leaving very soon. Uh, prior to the final game against Palace, it said Aaron Wan-Bissaka will be allowed to leave Manchester United this summer. I heard that he could be making a return to Crystal Palace. Um, he said as well that Atletico Madrid wanted him on loan. Aaron Wan-Bissaka has endured three full seasons at Man United. I think... He can be very good defensively, but the attacking side of his game is not so good. Man United got on Wan Bissaka in a deal worth fifty million. We paid forty five million up front and there was five million in add ons. Diego Dallo um, he's been subjected to a lot of transfer speculation before. Um, I don't think he'll leave this summer, but I think he will leave next year. Uh, Dallo was our first choice right back under Rangnick. And to be fair, Dallo had his good games under Rangnick. Uh, Dallo's contract at the club expires next year. At one point, he had a loan spell with AC Milan. Reflecting on that, he gained some experience. Man United got Dallo from Porto. We brought him in under the Mourinho era. We paid around £19 million pounds for him. Fred, um, we need to get rid of him because he's not good enough. I don't think he'll leave this year, Fred, but I can assure that he'll leave next year. Uh, revert back to early Ron in Rangnick's tenure, you know, Fred was actually one of our best performers, but since he come back from that injury, we've, we struggled to get the best out of him. Uh, Man United got Fred from Shat to the Nesk around, what, three or four years ago, got him in a deal worth £50 million. Uh, Nemanja Matic, uh, we know that he's leaving the club, revert back to early on this year, Matic announced he'll be leaving Man United despite having 12 months on his contract. Matic isn't one of our first choice midfielders, but despite that, he's still being given his opportunities. You know, Matic is at Man United for five years. Man United got him from Chelsea back in 2017 in a deal worth £40 million. Uh, Paul Pogba, he's on his way out of the club. His contract expires soon. Um, Demarzio did say, didn't he, not so long ago, that Pogba has 100% decided to leave Manchester United. Um, it apparently said that Pogba had been offered a three-year contract by Juventus worth... Ele Seven and a half million euros, but it said Pogba was demanding 11 million euros. Revert back to earlier on this year, you know, Sky Sports said that Paul Pogba is likely to make a move abroad 
when his contract runs out this summer. Real Madrid, Juventus, PSG are all interested. Pogba has already rejected a move to Man City. He did say Man City were considering signing Pogba on a free from Man United. He said City were willing to offer him a four-year deal. Uh, Pogba missed the final game against Crystal Palace because obviously he was injured. He's injury prone, Pogba. He's had a lot of injuries since he re-signed for Man United. He's enjoyed six seasons at the club since he re-signed. And Pogba's Man United's most expensive sign at the moment because Man United paid £89 million pounds for him. Jesse Lingard. Um, he should be leaving very soon. If he doesn't leave this year, I think he'll leave next year. West Ham um, are trying to get Lingard. You know, the second half of the season before last, he enjoyed the form and flown spell with West Ham and he made an impact. Lingard is a squad player, isn't he? You know, he doesn't really get in the team, but he has been part of the football club for a long time. You know, he came up our academy in that. Martial, he'll go permanently. Uh, the season just gone, he was out on loan with Sevilla. Uh, one matter, I can also see him leaving the club very soon. Matter's out of contract very soon. There again, uh, not so long ago, it said one matter doesn't rule out staying at Manchester United. Uh, Matt has been a long-serving player. You know, he's enjoyed nine seasons at Manchester United. And he's had a good career at the club. You know, one matter is a squad player. You know, doesn't really get in the team. Man United got him from Chelsea back in 2014. In a deal worth around £40 million with add-ons included. Edison Cavani, um, I think he's already left the club. Not too sure where he's going to be going. Uh, Man United did get Cavani on a free transfer from PSG back in the summer of 2020. Cristiano Ronaldo, I think he could leave next year. Um, I'm very sceptical he'll leave this year, obviously, because Ronaldo said he wants to stay at Man United and Eric Ten Hag wants him to stay. And Ronaldo will want to play under Ten Hag. Ronaldo missed the final game against Crystal Palace because he picked up a hip injury. Ronaldo <coughs> Ronaldo's contract at Manchester United expires next year. There's an option of a further year. He's the highest earner at Man United at the moment. He earns £480,000 a week. Uh, Man United re-signed Ronaldo from Juventus in the summer of last year. Man United paid around 12.8 up front. There was add-ons included. Since Ronaldo re-signed for Man United, he's got 24 goals in all competitions. He has 18 goals in the Premier League. And, you know, Ronaldo's won over 30 trophies in his playing career, including five Ballon d'Ors. Uh, next year, you know, Marcus Rashford could leave the club. Throughout the course of the season just gone, Marcus Rashford was subjected to a lot of transfer speculation. Uh, Rashford missed the final game against Crystal Palace because he was out with illness. But like I've said time and time again before, Rashford has not been the same player since he had that operation on his shoulder, you know. But uh, Marcus Rashford wants to stay at Manchester United. He's already confirmed that. So there you go. So anyway guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes, below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless. See you all again very soon.